Hello world, welcome back. Today I'll be doing a video on SLAM and navigation on the actual TurboBot 3. In my previous videos, I've done the SLAM and navigation on a TurboBot 3 simulation. So in order to proceed, just make sure that your TurboBot 3 is switched on and connected to the same network. Once that is done, you'll open up your terminal and we'll run mask core. We'll open another terminal, we'll connect to our Telebot tree. In order to make sure that your Telebot tree is up and running, we'll ping it first. So let's ping. You can see that data is being transferred. So we'll proceed ahead and as I search into our Telebot. Enter the password. Okay, we'll connect it. We'll launch the bring up on the Terabot tree. So we'll run a few lines. We'll start the calibration. Once it's done, we'll show that the calibration has ended. Okay, so the calibration has ended. What we're going to do now is open another terminal. We're going to export the turtle bot tree model. And we're using the burger. And we'll launch the turtle bot tree slam. This will open up Argus. Okay. We'll just change this, make sure it's here. All right. Okay, let me just orientate ourselves. This should be how it looks like. Okay, so I'll add the live video of the Terabot tree here. Okay, once this is done, we want to control our Terabot tree. So let's bring up the Tell your key. We need to open another terminal. Export Terabot tree. And then we'll launch the Tell your key. So Ross launched Terabot tree Tell your, Terabot tree underscore Tell your underscore key. This will allow us to control the Terabot. And let me bring up the RBIS. So let's just map this small custom room that I've created. Just increase the velocity. So I'll fast forward this process so you don't have to watch the entire thing. Okay, so I have now created the map that we'll be using. So this is just a rough um, mapping of the custom room. Now what we're gonna do is actually save the map. So to save the map, we actually want to make sure that you save it. Let's check here. So this is the command to save the map. So we'll name this map um, custom map. So there you go. So once we save the map, you'll see it in your file. So here's the map. And once that is done, we can actually proceed to run the navigation. So the navigation is pretty simple. Since we already have the RVs um, map, correctly, we'll just close this for now. And we can close this too. Okay. So assuming that you already have a map created, which we just did, what we can do now is to launch the navigation, like for the virtual port three. 
model. Um, same thing, we we'll run the burger and we'll run this code. First launch to robot free navigation, robot free navigation dot launch. Map file, we'll be using custom map. There we go. Let's put this here. Let's see. We are closer. Rotate accordingly. As such, do the two D estimate. Estimate, and it's facing somewhere here. And. Let me arrange it again. Somewhere facing like that. Arrange it one more time. Okay, it looks like it's facing there. Okay, so that's how I arrange the 2D pose. What we're going to do next is control the turtle bot tree using Peliot key. Open a new terminal. First, launch the turtle bot tree. And if you can see, you can actually control the turtle bot tree. So in life, you can see that the telebot tree is moving the same as the harvest. Let's bring it around. Still, I'll go one round and come back. So I'll stop the telebot there. Like this for now. And we can do the 2D net go. So let's say we want to move it to face here. Let's see. You can see that the telebot tree is moving where we want it to go. Like it's just having a very hard time. Let me do a simple one instead. Let's just make it go here. Now it's rotating. Let's try another one and let's do it next. Go oh, facing here. So what's actually going on is actually because the red areas that you see right here is where the, it's not trying to uh, move into. And the blue areas are where it's safe to travel. Anywhere that's outside of this blue would be quite difficult for the telebot tree to navigate to. Then a good example would be, let me say, put the telebot tree right this side in the red facing up. You'll see some issues that the telebot tree will face. Like so. So now it's trying to navigate slowly so it does not collide. Another challenge it would face would be, say, asking it to move this way and yeah, facing downwards. See how close it has to navigate to the red zones. And it's sometimes having issues because it feels like it's being blocked. So 
So it would be great if you have a bigger area which has lesser obstacles. If not, this could be actually um amended in the parameters as such like here. So you can actually change the, these parameters and define it in its uh, parameter file. So I've actually showed you how to run SLAM and navigation. If you want to learn more about ROS, you can click the links below in the description. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. If you enjoy watching the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you are looking forward to more videos, do hit the subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.